My reading is all time low, not understanding how to improve. I've been practicing a lot. Reading fill in the blank is always a nightmare. Read aloud. I always get low scores. Well, if you have troubles with all these things, trust me, 99% of the people have problems in reading because it is one of the difficult modules in PT. But trust me, in this video, I have a great news for you. For the first time, I have come up with this nine hacks, nine tricks to trick the software and understand the right way of getting that 90 out of 90 in reading in very simple way possible. All you got to do is make sure you watch the video till then. Hey everybody, Nakul from Skills PT Academic. Really hope everybody is doing fantastic. I'm back with at another super awesome power packed video on nine reading tricks that I'm revealing in this video for the first time. And whoever makes use of it will definitely have to get that 90 reading without a shallow of the doubt. Before we get into the video, if you're not subscribed to this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button and anytime you need online assistance, it's a online paid assistance, you can check the information in the description of this video. We have left our um, WhatsApp link. You can click on the link directly, you will come to our message. We will be there, I'll be there to help you, guide you in the right direction. All right, without further delay, let's straight away right get into the video. Let me just share my screen. Nine reading tricks revealed for a perfect 90. All right, so let's quickly fatafat finish it off. The very first trick, remember this. Choose multiple answer, choose single answer. In any way, do not contribute marks. Then why these modules are given? So that you spend extra time and you don't get enough time to solve those important modules called reading FIB, reading, writing, fill in the blanks. So that you give exam again. Very simple, not exactly like that, but these modules just affect your time. They don't contribute any marks. They have written negative marking, all those things. Don't worry. We have tested this with every student of ours who has 90 reading. Not everybody, meaning those who got 90 reading, we have tested this. They just skip this module. And trust me, this comes in the middle. Choose single answer comes in the end of the reading section. So towards the end, it doesn't matter you're not gonna save any time because it comes after all the important modules. Correct, first comes reading, writing, fill in the blanks. Then choose multiple answer, reorder the paragraph. Choose, sorry, then comes reading, fill in the blank and then choose single answer. Choose single answer and so not important. You don't have to worry, but this comes in the middle. Don't spend even a second on it. The moment you see, click one, move on. Can I click two? It's up to you. Negative marking that this is not there. Don't believe whatever you see. This is not going to contribute any marks. And trust me, when you skip it, minimum, let's say two questions are there. Minimum three minutes will be saved. Three minutes means extra one or two questions you can solve. Give it a thought. It's very, very important. All right. The trick number two, don't put your complete heart and soul into learning this reorder the paragraph. See, reorder the paragraph is, is little tricky. You know, it's not that straightforward. So even if you practice some 10,000 questions, 10,000 first question, you may still fall for the trap. So that is a scenario then, why do you have to put your heart and soul into it? You know, like trouble yourself to practice this a lot and lot and lot. No, fortunately, this is not a priority in the exam. Hardly contributes four or six questions, six marks, if there are two or three question comes. Two questions, four or five marks, not more than that. Finish my reorder part one, part two video in the YouTube. Just type reorder the paragraph. My video will come. Or skills PTE reorder. Part one, part two. You just watch that enough. No need to practice a lot and lot. Even in the exam, you focus on reorder the paragraph. Only for 1.5 minute and not even a second more than that. Within 1.5 minute, you do whatever you want to do. You get the answer, great. You don't get the answer, even more greater. Select randomly drag and drop and just move on. One and a half minute is enough. Make sure at least the first independent sentence or the first pair is correct so that you get one mark. The, the intention is to save as much time as possible to solving the reading fill in the blank, reading, writing fill in the blanks, not reorder. Reading FIB, FIB means fill in the blank. Reading, writing FIB contributes together some 50 marks to reading, 25 to 26 marks to writing. This four or five marks and we have seen people getting reading 90, writing 90 by just skipping it. Things are different. Everything cannot be shared here. Things are different. Software probably sees it as Let's say you made a mistake in reorder, but difficult fill in the blanks, you solved it like this perfectly. Then software should still think, you may, you know, like have made mistake, but it's okay, you're still good in the reading skill. So the way it works is different. From my experience, don't have to put your heart and soul into this. Just 
watch the video that I told you, the link in the description. Reorder the paragraph two videos, enough, done and dusted, just go to exam. If you are lucky, you will get the correct answers. Otherwise also it is fine, 1.5 minute, not more than that. Do not have to worry too much about it. Trick number three, summarize written text. Everyone thinks they are Albert Einstein, correct? Do not put it, do not use it too much in summarize written text what people end up doing. See, summarize written text could be a writing module but contributes marks to your reading as well. One or two questions, four to six marks to writing and four to six marks to reading. So, here you have to summarize a particular paragraph. So, what people end up doing? They try to use synonyms to impress the software, especially people from IELTS background or trainers from IELTS background. If you have taken coaching from them, they would suggest you never repeat the same word and lot many stories are there. Do not pay attention to all these things. You try to use a synonym, try to use a different word from the paragraph. Software, there is no guarantee it understands it the way you meant it. It may think you are summarizing in a different way, you are summarizing to a different paragraph. As a result, when you confuse it, it may give you low scores. The ideal method, copy paste exactly as it is, one sentence, comma and copy paste exactly as it is, another sentence, put a full stop done and dusted. Take two full sentences, do not copy half sentence. After a full stop, till you find another full stop, grab it. After a full stop, till you find another full stop, grab it. Two sentences grabbed, between them comma and in the end full stop, summarized in text. PT core or PT academic has the same strategy. Do not write 73, 74 words and all, 5 to 75 words is what they ask you. 40, 45, 35, 50, more than enough. Content is not a priority, but do not confuse the software with some synonyms, your reading scores will go down. Trick number 4 Roman, this guy, this is the guy you need to you know hold him tightly, because this guy read aloud, the very first module in speaking contributes 35 marks towards your reading, 33 to 35 depending on the number of questions, depending on the length of the question. So, here people, 99 percent of the people have trouble, because that is the very first module. You enter into the examination hall and you see 10 people are sitting, shouting, screaming, yelling, some crying, some are happily doing because they got it correctly. And in the middle of this chaotic moment, you are just sitting quietly thinking, what should I do? Some experience nervousness, some experience anxiety and lot many stuff, because of which read aloud is always a trouble. I will just give you some hints because of which you read aloud will contribute full marks to the reading. And know this, your speaking may be 90. Some have already forwarded to trick number 5 because my speaking is 90. Boss, your speaking could be 90. But you may have got 35 marks to speaking from read aloud. You would have got 25 marks from read aloud to reading. Speaking 90, but reading could be less. This scenario we have seen multiple times. Do not see the skills profile and all. I have seen skills profile with extended speaking 33, speaking 90, extended writing 28, writing 90. The things are different. That is the reason I have named the video as 10, 9 tricks revealed. Things are actually different from what we understand. All right, so these are the set of things one should keep in mind. No intonation, I will explain with an example in just a while. Do not sing. What if I start speaking like this, will you be able to still? Do not go up and down, no pitch issue. For a guy, I want minimum 140, maximum 180 or 200 also will do. For a lady, it is 200 and above. If you are able to satisfy this need, then you get your scores. If pitch is 120, check in the pitch app, any app like voice tools just check or voice pitch analyzer. Any of these app you can download one for and Android voice tools is for iPhone and check your pitch. I want it to cross this 140 or touch this 140. If it is 110 for a guy, you need to thin it. Market research is a, you need to modulate your voice. Lot of things are there to add up the clarity. You want more information, more proper information and just finish it off in one go, you can join us any point of time um, and register with our online paid course. No pitch issue, no intonation, no emphasis on the words, stress sir, please do not do it. Am I stressing any words? I am talking to you right now. No. Then why do you want to stress the words? You stress the words thinking you have to put that emphasis because Pearson score guide says so. What they say is something different. What we understand is something different. 
All right, so no emphasis on the words, natural constant speed. It is like going in a highway in a cruise control mode. Set the car to 60 km per hour and just relax. Do not put accelerator or brake, or just relax. Full stop, comma, probably you can reduce the speed. Otherwise, just relax. Do not go very fast, do not go very slow. Skip difficult words. If I skip difficult words, will I still get marks reading? Definitely, yes. This is a mystery how, um, nobody knows how, but these things are working. But you try to speak a difficult word incorrectly or made some hesitation, made some b -b 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 fumbles, then marks gone to speaking and reading both. So, in any way, skip the difficult words in case if required. How many words? 3 to 4 words or 4 to 5 words you can skip. Do not keep on skipping every word. No hesitation, no fumble, this is what fluency is. So, if you follow this, definitely you are going to get 35 marks to reading from speaking. So, how do I speak? Trust me, I have not seen this text before and you got to trust me, I am not lying. <coughs> now, we will make an attempt and just read without any preparation time. Let us see. Powell served as the 65th United States Secretary of State under President George W. Bush from 2001 to 2005, the first African American to hold that position. He was also the first African American to serve as Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff from 1989 to 2023 under Presidents George H. W. Bush and Bill Clinton. I spoke this differently, it does not matter man. Instead of saying George W. Bush, I said Narendra Modi, will that matter? Probably 3-4 words <laughs> if you speak differently, it may hamper. Probably George H. W. Bush, you can say George W. Bush or George A. W. Bush, one or here, one or two here. If you misinterpret, totally fine, do not come back and correct it. But if you properly observe, did I give any fumbles? Did I hesitate? Was I going very fast? No, I was going at my comfortable speed. Was I giving intonation? No. Was I stressing the words? No. You check my pitch, you know like play this audio in the laptop, in the phone, download that voice pitch analyzer or voice tools and click record and just observe what it shows. It exactly shows straight line like this. It will not show like this and this would be probably 140 to 160. My voice, I know it. You can just verify if you want. So, this way you do, you get your scores. Some people speak. Powell said as the Secretary of the United States Secretary of State and the President George W. Bush from no, no, no clarity, clarity missing. Natural way of speech is important. Some people they need the feedback, many do not, but those who need the feedback you can join a course, join our course as well. We are going to help in the right way. All right, trick number 5, highlight incorrect words. We are going to very soon come to reading fill in the blanks in a short while. Highlight incorrect words. Be careful not to mess it up man. Ten to 12 to 15 marks towards your listening and towards your write, reading. Integrated module just like read aloud that contributes marks to speaking and reading. Highlight incorrect words contribute marks to listening and reading because your listening and your reading it is a reading activity. It is a very simple module, but let us say the audio goes super fast and your reading skills are little poor, then you will not be able to catch up with the speed of the audio or it is going fast and you are not able to read fast then for sure you are going to mess it up. So, how do we work on this? By practicing more on this in the internet? No, take a newspaper, read fast, every day fast reading. In the end, I am going to give you a routine as well, wait till the end, but fast reading activity will actually fix this module. Second thing, fast reading activity is what I want. Second thing, be careful not to mess it up. This alone carries negative marking, do not worry about other modules, multiple choice and all, do not carry even if Pearson says. From my experience, this carries negative marking. So, here negative marking is, let us say you selected a word which is not an incorrect word, then you will get minus 1. Let us say there is a word here you selected, you selected, you selected, you selected. This particular word you did not select, you do not get negative mark. But let us say you selected this word which is not even incorrect word, then it is negative marking. Meaning, in doubt, do not touch it. Do not risk it is what I am telling you. 10 to 12, 15 marks you can easily get a reading from this module. Now comes the difficult part. Reading fill in the blanks, observe the traps, know the possibility of a trap, do not fall for it, is not it. I will explain what I meant, but recently I am not sure how many of you watched this. It is a 6 hour full course reading fill in the blanks video. It is a comprehensive video. We put massive effort in producing this video. If you have watched it well and good, if not, please check it out. 
all your reading worries will just vanish. You get the right approach. You understand what these traps are, why I should not fall for it, why am I falling into it, how to fall out of it, everything. It's six hour man, it has everything that you need. Something like this is not there, never there before, probably may not come in the future as well. This video, the link in the description kindly have a look at it immediately or after this video. Six hours, probably it may take you two, three days for you, but it's worth every second you spend. Let's come back to these traps. What is this trap? This is a question. There are some options. It's like you're watching that girl over there from here. She's just walking. You're only watching her, but forgetting to watch what is immediately, you know, right after you. There's a big pit. And by watching, watching her, watching her, you forgot to check what is there, right? Ahead of you and you fell into the gutter or the drainage or the pit. That is falling into the trap. You have to just jump. That jumping is not happening for a lot of people. Try doing it. I'm going to add a timer of two and a half minute on my bottom right. Let's see if you can solve this without falling for the traps. Two and a half minute, not even a second more than that. Post two and a half minute, I'm going to come back and help you understand how to do it. All right, I really hope you have solved it. So let's see how many of you have fallen into the trap, how many of you were actually using binocular and seeing that girl. So here, heat, the heat, noun, the height, the loss, out is not fitting there. Proving is a verb, but the index is proving, are proving, proving cannot come. The consequence, reveals is the only verb. It's easy peasy, one is reveals. With the time running height, running loss, no, it's run out. Run out is a collocation, time running out, simple one. But here, people would end up writing, above which experts warn, dash could, could is a verb, could include, here no one has to come. Dash could include, far hotter days, people would write, heat could include. This is the trap, heat is like a girl, I should arrive, standing there, and I just watching her and walking. No man, you watch her, no problem, but you also pay little attention on what <laughs> waits for you. I hate. 
correct its consequences could include hotter days, higher sea levels and nearly all world's coral reefs. Now, pay more attention. This is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this dash of coral reefs. Now, hotter days negative, higher sea levels negative, this should be negative. Negative word is loss, otherwise people write heat or height, simply people will write. After A R E I N G has to come, are giving, they are playing, they are proving, some are proving better at this than others. It is a simple one, but here if you are getting 4 meaning, you got to watch my other 6 hour of video immediately, so that you understand more of it, so that it helps you understand where you stand, what all loopholes, what all mistakes you are doing and then you fix it. See, first problem is understanding what is the problem this people do not know. So, only when you are exposed to making such mistakes will you understand what the problem is. Once you know the problem fixing is just a matter of time. Hope you got it, see the traps, do not fall for it and do not feel for it when you fall into it. Alright, so the trick number 7, collocations are like hide and seek. I know everyone would have played hide and seek, even now some are still playing. Collocations are hidden play hide and seek efficiently. They are hidden and you are that thief, you have to identify the collocations. Reading fill in the blanks is actually mostly collocations, these people do not realize. They keep on reading in their own usual way, see people go to or student goes to one website, just practices, practices, practices. In his own way it is not going to make a difference, in the end the person says I practiced for one year. See the score, I think PT is not for me. You practiced, but you did not understand the approach. You are simply practicing 1 plus 1 is equal to 3. How can the results happen overnight? First is understanding the approach. Stop practicing, know the approach, and then you practice with the approach. The 6 hour video, collocation itself around 2 and a half <laughs> to 3 hour I have given there. Everything, whatever is required, absolutely for free. Go have a look at it. You understand, you appreciate, then you know the technique of how to play this hide and seek with collocation and catch that. Correct. So, check my recent 6 hour full course reading FIB video without fail. The link is in the description. Now, let us do this. I am going to add a timer of 2 minute here. Try doing it with collocations. Well, collocations are nothing but few words always go with few words. Addicted to, allotted to. Correct. Few words always come over. Massive drinker, haughty. Correct. So, few words always go with few words. Using that, you try doing it. Do not try to understand the entire paragraph maybe little bit understanding is enough, pay more attention to collocations. Two minute timer on my bottom right, here you go. <coughs> Jatin, two minute, ready. All right, so dash as transcends force that transcends what? So, these are the collocations, stadium dash with, dash with, dash with, dash ability is a collocation all dash of life is a collocation. Now, you do not need this option, dash as, identified as, called as, known as, called as is wrong, called, known as, recognized as. Sports have long been recognized as unifying force that transcends, that overcomes, that goes beyond cultural, graphical, linguistic fencing. It goes beyond these things, it goes beyond the boundaries of it or barriers is getting it force that transcends beyond or transcends these barriers. State stadium dash with fans, packed with stand fans when RCB match IPL is going on in India, correct? Stadiums packed with fans, it RCB does not do not win, that is different thing. All right, dash ability, that is unique ability. People now question, U is there, yeah, it is and no, 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 it is sound, it is why you sound, U, it is not U, U, this is consonant, not vowel. So, it is a unique ability, all dash of life, all walks of life. So, now how to improve collocations? Well, check my recent video, you understand what collocations are, how to improve them, where to improve them, where to find them and lot many things. Well, the best way is to just read novels, read newspapers, read books, English books, automatically are, you know the collocation knowledge will enhance. So, all these things are very, very crucial. You grasp them, understand them, implement them, you see the difference in your scores. You do not do it, only practice, same scores. The penalty metric, trick number 8, reading fill in the blanks, reading writing fill in the blanks is not just context, grammar, 
collocation context. Grammar itself around 25 to 30 hour in our course. My recent um, video, 6 hour video has probably grammar for 2 and half, 2, two hours probably or 2 and half, half hours theory and then implementation with respect to grammar collocation context. So, what I mean by this is whenever possible you do it with the collocation and grammar like this without having to read the entire context, entire paragraph. Whenever this grammar collocation will not work, then you fall to this understanding the paragraph, meaning vocabulary that is put some time. For every question you do not have to put your time, this technique if you master, then you will get your score. See majority of the people have troubles here because they are not able to solve reading FYB, reading, writing FYB confidently within the stipulated time. The time given is probably 25 minutes if there are 12 questions, if there are 18 questions 37 minutes. It is usually number of questions into 2 plus 1. So, ideally they are expecting you to solve every reading fill in the blanks in 2 minutes, joke no big joke, may not be 2 minutes because we are skipping choose single, choose, a, choose multiple, probably you will get some 2.5 minutes, reorder also we will reduce by you know 30 seconds. 2.5 minutes should be your average time for that to happen. You have to do it much faster. Simply reading line by line, reading, writing, fill in the blanks will be this much big paragraph. You cannot read them in two and a half minute, then solving them one question, 10 minutes people end up taking. So, whenever possible grammar, whenever possible collocation, when both are not possible, then only rely on the context. Some questions you can solve it in 30 seconds. Some questions take 4 minutes, that way 2 and a half minute is still balanced. This balanced approach is very much required for that finish this. See it just takes time, it does not take anything else, just give your time. I have my ways, in this video I have motivated in every way possible, giving you the right direction. Just watch it, nothing else is required, then you just practice on your own. Getting it right, so we will go to the last technique, last trick reveal, this is the most important thing. Reading, writing fill in the blank, reading fill in the blanks is all about sometimes vocabulary. People do not know the meaning of it, as a result they do not understand what it is. If it is not grammar or collocation, for sure it is vocabulary, you have to read and understand and if you are not understanding, there is a tough, you know there is a difficult word, what will you do? It is, it is impossible to do it. Sometimes luck wise you can eliminate, you know you can eliminate, eliminate few of the options and do it, but that is only pure by chance, by luck most of the times this is the problem then how do I improve? It is not just vocabulary, it is getting the meaning of the word from the context, it is reading skill. See I am a reader, like this you will find many readers, if you have you know like any friends who reads a lot, you go and ask him the meaning of some difficult word, just ask him that word, some words meaning, he probably may not know the meaning of it, probably he will ask you, can you give me a text? Can you give me a line? You give him a line, that person will immediately tell the meaning of it. This is reading skill. So, basically it is not just memorizing the vocabulary. I have seen people telling me, my last institution gave me 5000 words to remember, oh, all those things is not going to work. What helps you is knowing the meaning from the context, because in the exam some other word comes, what will you do? You should list, you know, learn this reading skill from your reading skill, with your reading skill, you predict the meaning from whatever the story that you are reading, that should happen. For that I am going to give you one simple exercise, this also in our course we do this for 15-20 minutes every day, 15-20 minutes spelling test, 15-20 minutes reading skill improvement class, every day it has been doing, it has been happening, that I will just reveal it here. Take any paragraph, a random paragraph, whatever the paragraph that you like, make sure there are some words like this, tumbled glittering, expanse, it is not expanse, shoreline, trail, swirling, rekindling, 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 intensify, toe, mere, there are some words, you can go to timesofindia.com, pbc.com, nationalgeographic.com or any, any, any article, jamesclear.com, that guy is also good. Take a random paragraph, highlight the words that you have problems and now the task is without looking into the dictionary or without looking into Google, without taking the help of a Google you have to predict the meaning of it. The brightness intensify, now brightness went up or down, that you should get from the context. Swirling galaxy, swirl is this, you may not know it, but from the context you will be able to figure out, tumbled I do not know the meaning, but you read from Maldives famous sea, come here, tumbled onto the beach, you would know what is tumbled, getting it, so this, now list it down, part fact means this, 
part fiction i think it is this glittering could be this expanse could be this from the context write it down and then go to dictionary and search its meaning and just analyze so when you do it this way when you try it on your own your skill improve every time you look into the google you learn the word and you forget this could be a very great exercise for your mind to work on the reading skills try doing it and my only request for the fact i have put lot of efforts to make this ppt today only request is i would request whoever watching this video if you really feel like leaving a comment please do with the meaning of all these highlighted words uh, let's see how many of you get the correct meaning but don't use the dictionary don't use google try doing it because that is the task because it's possible if it was not possible i wouldn't have even dared to give it isn't it it's definitely possible so try doing this nine things that i've revealed today top secret confidential things you will have your scores at the earliest all the very best saying this i think that's all from this video really happy i made this video like share and subscribe if you feel the video deserves it and do leave your valuable suggestions comments in the comment section any time you need online assistance you can whatsapp us the link in the description i'll be there we will be there to help you guide you in the right direction fine guys with this i'll park it here this is nakul n a k u l nakul signing off from skills pt soon we'll be back till then take care bye bye thanks much